Hi guys, it's Miss Alicia here from Club Clendenin. So today I have another craft for you guys. We're going to be making a recycled robot. So, as you guys know, um, Earth Day is coming up on April 22nd. So that's like a very important day. It is an annual event celebrated on April 22nd where events are held worldwide to demonstrate support for environment protection. Earth Day was first celebrated in 1970 and is now shown globally by the Earth Day Network and celebrated in more than 192 countries every year. So yeah, that's a little bit about Earth Day. So you guys know about recycling. Um, recycling, it helps the planet you know, by reusing things instead of throwing them away, they if you throw them away, some end up on landfills, and that like a lot of trash gets created there, and then like it just takes forever to process, to decompose into, like into the earth, and that also pollutes the earth because that stuff does not belong in the earth grounds. So it's important to recycle. Especially, don't throw your trash on the floor. Always make sure that you throw your trash in the trash can where it belongs correctly. Um, plastic, cardboard, you know, all of that goes in the recycle. So, recycling is important to both the natural environment and for us. Yeah, because we don't want to pollute the earth. We don't want, you know, anything bad happening to our earth because that's where we live. That's our planet, you know? So, today we're going to be making a robot out of recycled items. So, we're gonna, first, you, get, you can choose um, the materials that you're going to use. So, it doesn't have to be all of these, but you can get cardboard boxes, water bottles, the toilet paper or paper towel rolls, and tin cans. Anything that you know that is recyclable. You can use that because that's what we're going to use to build our robot. You don't have to necessarily get all of that. Just what you can find or what you like. So for me, I got water bottles, the egg carton. I got cereal box, another water bottle, a cardboard box, and um, also a soda can. So... I don't know if I'm going to be using all of this today, but most of it, I guess. So, also, okay, so you're going to need that. And then, if you guys, you can use a hot glue gun to glue all of this. A hot glue gun, or you can use tape. It doesn't matter what you use, but also, if you're going to use a hot glue gun, be careful, because it is very hot, and we don't want you guys to get burned. So if you're going to use a hot glue gun, ask your parent or sibling, whoever, to help you so you won't get burned. Also, like I said, tape. And then you're going to need some scissors to cut some of the items. And then if you want, you can use markers so you can draw a face on your robot or you can use the items. So first, we're going to, you're also going to get a sheet of paper. Because this is where you're going to draw out your robot. Like this is going to be your little example. So let's start drawing. So to see what we're going to make. Okay, so now that you have drawn, this is what my little robot is going to look like more or less. This is my little outline drawing. So after you get it done with that. Make sure also you have plugged in your hot glue gun if you're going to use it so it can start warming up. So after you've drawn that, so now you can get started making your robot. So you're going to get your materials. This is the box that I'm going to be using. So I'm going to be using for the arms, it's going to be the bottom of this, of the water bottles. So you're going to go, if you're going to do that, go ahead and cut it. You know, okay. 
So I've already cut the mouth and then the soda can is going to be this part, his little hat. And then for the egg carton, I'm going to use that for hair, like kind of hair right here. Oh, and then the lids for the waters, for the eyes. And then these is going to be this part of the water bottle. You're going to stick it on like that. So I'm going to go ahead and start making my robot and I'll show you guys when I'm done. Okay guys, I'm back. I just finished with my robot. So I want you guys to see. This is more or less what my robot looks like. You guys, are, Your guys' robot is going to look completely different. Not exactly like mine. You know, use your own creative ideas. So after you're done, I want you guys to actually name your robot. So since we're doing reuse reuse recycle i've actually decided to have his name with the letter r so his name is robbie i named my robot robbie so yeah so this is basically it guys you guys can either leave it inside or put it outside for decoration for earth day so people will know that you're reusing your items recycling them and making them into other things okay so i want you guys to think about after you guys are done with this i want you guys to think does this actually look like a robot now robots don't necessarily have all have to look the same like it doesn't matter what they look like but more or less does this look like a robot or does yours look like a robot i think mine pretty does pretty much does look like a robot so yeah did you use recyclable materials? Plastic bottles, cardboard, egg, carton, um, tin can. Those are all recyclable items. So yeah, I did use um, recyclable materials. Does it look like your design? So you're going to get your design. So this is my design. As you can see, I added some eyebrows to him. And yeah. That's the only thing different from my design, but pretty much it looks the same if you ask me. I just added to my brows. I'm forgetting a nose, but it's okay. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed making this little craft. Make sure to reuse, reuse, and recycle. Throw away your trash. Yeah, bye guys.